Hey, Matt here. Welcome to Mob Street. Today, I actually have all the bikes outside. I've got the TW, the TW, the Kids 80, the Triumph, and the Kawasaki. But I'm going to be changing this tire right here. But before I do, wanted to show you just, you know, with, with the holidays coming up and people thinking, hey, what can I get that motorcycle person in my life? You know, what, what, what would they really want or what would they need for Christmas? You know, I mean, along those lines, we got you covered. So obviously with the TW, you guys, we've done so much to these bikes and we have not even scratched the surface of what you can do to these. Now I know in one of my other videos, I said that you don't need to change these, these things out or swap it out or chain, do any mods right off the bat, get used to it. But for those of you who have ridden quite a bit and you've decided, hey, I want a few things, here we go. So I obviously have a lot of the tusk parts on my bikes because Rocky Mountain is right up the road. I've got a good relationship with them. Um, I am an affiliate for them. So the stuff that I put in here with the affiliate links, I do get a little bit of a kickback. Nothing extra to you, but you know, so I've got a lot of their stuff on here. And I actually like it quite a bit. I have beat it. I have abused it. <laughs> my kids have abused it. So some of the things actually one of my most favorite things are the tusk deflex handguards i have these on both of my bikes i actually have another set don't mind the mess we're still in remodel mode we've got another set right there and i'm trying to decide if i want to put those on the klx or if i want to put them on the triumph because those are kind of really chintzy and i think the tusk ones would look awesome on there but I love the Tusk Deflex handguards. They have been on all of my TWs so far, and they have been lifesavers. They have literally saved the, 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 the bars. They've saved my hands. They've saved all sorts of stuff. They've saved the tanks multiple times with falling over. So if you're looking for a good set of handguards, the Tusk Deflex are a really, really good way to go. Now on this one, this is the older style. They've changed the clamps a little bit. But as you can see, I've had to modify that just a little bit for those to fit on the stock bars. If you're using other bars, like the Tusk bar here, you don't need to modify the clamps at all. They actually go on really, really well. There's no modding that needs to be done. But if you're going to be running the stock bars, then those little clamps right there might need a little bit of shaving to make them work. Now... On this one, not on my other one, but on this one, I have the Tusk handlebar risers on here. Now, these are the 30 millimeter risers, and they fit a 7 8 bar, but they also have an oversized that fits the inch and an eighth bar. So, these give you just a little bit more height out of the handlebar, which I like a lot. I've got them on this bike. I've got them on the KLX. I had them on this TW until I swapped out to the Tusk um, Universal Big Bar. Now this is an inch and an eighth bar that tapers down to a seven eighths. So this kit right here, I've been a big fan of on this TW. It does change the stance just a little bit, but I have enjoyed it quite a bit. So if you're looking for an inexpensive gift, those Tusk handlebar, or the, excuse me, the Tusk Deflex handguards, now the pros are actually going to be quite a bit bigger. These are the MX shields. I like these. They they treat me well. There's nothing wrong with with either one that you choose, but the Tusk Deflex bars are a great way to go. I've got the Tusk skid plate. I've got the Tusk foot pegs on here. These have been with me since darn near the beginning. These are actually the one of the first sets that you could get for the TW. And they have held up extremely well. They have been beat to tar. They've hit rocks. They've hit wood. They've gone through the water. They've gone through mud, well, yeah, mud, snow, sand, everything. And those still have massive amounts of grip on there. So on this TW, I have the Tusk Shift Lever. On that TW, I have the Bradley shift lever, and I like the Bradley quite a bit more. It's a little bit bigger, 
it's black and silver instead of this blue which i obviously a long time ago tried to paint that one um the bradley is a little bit like longer it's about an inch longer than this one but either way you go on these you can't really go wrong i i like i mean this one has been sturdy as all get out so has that one so it's really just a choice you know those are inexpensive they'd fit perfectly in a stocking so if you want to do a stocking stuffer those shift levers either from tusk or from bradley performance are an excellent choice the other thing from bradley performance that i really really like are these shorty shift levers rocky mountain doesn't offer these but bradley performance does the shorty shift levers for the tw have been great and if you don't have hand guards these are a breakaway lever so if you fall you're less likely to break your brake lever or your clutch lever the only downside yes they are anodized and if you leave them out in the sun too long obviously you can see that one's a little brown and that one is still darker so this is what happens when you leave them out in the sun for too long but great ways to go on there as well these are both the tack industry headlights i have had these on the bikes for years now and these tack industry headlights have been absolutely awesome they are a great addition over stock and i've been i mean i've had them well probably like four years now in the bikes and they have been great so you guys all the stuff that I'm, I'm talking about here i will put links to them in the description so if there's questions make sure to check the description and we'll put the links in there not only does tusk have a skid plate but bradley performance has a skid plate as well and honestly if you're looking for like performance stuff for the tw bradley performance hands down is the best way to go he has all sorts of stuff that folks have been asking for for the tw for forever you know bradley performance has gone through i mean well look you've got some adjustable um preload adjusters on there that you can get he has rear shocks he has front forks he has engine mods he has all sorts of stuff that everybody has been asking for the tw so make sure to check out his website or you know just if you need to leave a little post-it note on the fridge like hey this is what i want for my tw if you want to get me for something for christmas make sure to say bradley performance tw parts and then this 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 is this whatever it may be good choice so bradley performance he's got the skid plates as well he is coming out with some tires oh this is gonna be awesome so if you haven't i mean keep track of what bradley performance is doing he's got all sorts of stuff that is still coming out for the tw really really cool stuff that is going to take literally the bike to another level for those of us who absolutely love the tw and really want to just enhance the performance a bit whether it's suspension engine all that stuff check out bradley performance now going back to these on this i do have the tusk front rack which i have been a big fan of it's really really sturdy it's just and what's cool about this one so cycle racks makes one and i've actually got one hanging up there on the wall cycle racks makes a front rack that bolts right here on your upper on your upper triple tree and right here on your lower triple and it comes out right here underneath the headlight so when put, folks put stuff on there they're like hey i can't see anything because it's blocking the headlight so rocky mountain came up with this one and this allows you to mount it above the headlight or you can switch these brackets around and mount it below the headlight so you can choose which one you want on there i've been a big fan of that it's not very expensive and it is a great choice for the tw guys now if you want to raise your fenders up a little bit rocky mountain does have a high fender kit that allows you to bolt right up here underneath your triple tree which is awesome it gives you a lot more clearance a lot more um chance to get that mud cleared out of your tire so they do have that one there these ones are bradley performance this is about an inch rise up on here as you can see it does change it a little bit over stock 
So I've been pretty happy with that inch rise that's on there on that one. Haven't had too many issues, but a lot of folks have said, hey, we need something a little bit higher. So Rocky Mountain has one. I think Bradley Performance has one as well. So just to be looking, hey, you know, all sorts of stuff for the TWs. Now, when it comes to tires, Rocky Mountain has a massive selection of tires, but there aren't many rear tires to choose from. So the Dunlop K180s, I actually would prefer getting those on Amazon. They have more size choices on there. Um, if you're looking for more of like a street oriented tire, the Dunlop K180 is a great, great way to go. I've been really, really happy with those. I've got over 5,000 miles out of them and I haven't had any issue with them on the street. On the dirt, maybe just a little bit more, but on the street, they have been absolutely awesome. So, but tire wise, I did get the Shinko 244 and the Shinko 241 from Rocky Mountain. The stock rear tires I got from Rocky Mountain as well. Um, but like I said, keep an eye on Bradley Performance because he is coming out with more tire options. Now, Bradley Performance, definitely, if you're looking for, like I said, performance-wise, he has a rear brake, or excuse me, a rear disc brake kit. But also, if you have a 2000 and older that have the drum brakes, like this TW over here, this is my 87 project. It's been sitting out, and I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for that, but we're working on it. But the 87s up to the 2000s that have the disc, or excuse me, the drum brake in the front, Bradley Performance does make a front disc kit that you can get for that. So if you're looking for, like I said, performance upgrades, Bradley Performance is really, really the way to go when it comes to parts for your TW200. Now, let me show you this right here. If you're looking for something to, you know, spice up the sound of the TW a little bit, let's give you a tone of this one here. This is the stock exhaust. She's a little cold right now. We're only about 35 degrees today. So here we go. There we go. This is what the stock one sounds like. Not too bad. Oh, <laughs> too much gas. There we go. That's what the stock one sounds like. Now, this is the Bradley Performance. Make sure Yep, our choke is on. Here we go. Well, let's come around to this side. This one is a little dirty. I apologize. There you go. I love the sound of that one. You guys, that exhaust. Now, it does come with a few inserts that you can put in there. I don't have them. I yanked it out because it sounds awesome. And I've been a big fan of that one as well. So, bottom line, if you are looking for something to get or if you want something, you know, for the bike Christmas-wise for those who have the TWs, definitely check out the stuff from Rocky Mountain ATV and from Bradley Performance. Now, the other thing about Rocky Mountain ATV, not only do they have parts and accessories, but they have all the riding gear that you could ever want. They have helmets, they have gloves, they have jerseys, they have, oh, I mean, jackets, pants, uh, all sorts of stuff. For riding your TW. They've got boots, they've got goggles, they've got pretty much all the riding gear you could possibly think of, they have it. So if you want to go that route, I highly, highly recommend checking out Rocky Mountain ATV's 
um, all their stuff because they have Black Friday deals that are going on right now. They have Christmas deals that are coming up. They have uh, closeout, like 2024 closeout gear deals that they're doing. So if you're looking for gear right now is a great time to check that stuff out. And I will put the links obviously to everything that we've talked about in the video down in the description. And I really, really hope y'all have a very happy Thanksgiving and an absolutely wonderful Merry Christmas. Matt here with Mob Street. Hope it, these holidays treat you all well. We'll see you in the next one.